Okay, this is going to be a demonstration of using computer weaving software to create a pattern starting from fabric analysis type of screens. Now the conceptual sample of what I'm doing with is essentially the Huck Lace Butterfly here. Now I'm going to walk through all six of the primary programs here. Now we'll walk through them in the order shown by the icons on the right hand side here. When I'm doing each demo, those will move around so you can see which demo it is if you're fast forwarding through. I'm going to start with FiberWorks because it's got the most users out there, I believe. Uh, Weave it. I will do second by virtue of the fact that it's across the most platforms. Pixel Loom is both Mac and PC. The rest of us are all PC. Uh, my product is QuickDraw, and I will apologize to the other authors. The last thing I would want is a competitor doing a product demo of my product, but I will do what I can. Uh, the other thing that's missing here is Tempo Weave from Lofty Fiber. I've talked to those folks and asked if they can produce a separate video, so I'll try and present that at the same time this gets uploaded. The Weave Point demo and the Win Weave. Now the machine I'm running on is a Windows 11 computer. It's about a month old, so all of these programs were downloaded from their respective websites in the last month. It's currently January of 2022 to give you a reference there. And so let me go ahead and walk through those demos. This is going to be a demonstration of using FiberWorks to enter a profile draft for a sample project. In this case, I'm going to create something similar to the butterfly here. Uh, first thing with FiberWorks, if I'm running bronze, and I try and do a file, I don't get a sketch pad structure, so I can't be running bronze, I need to be running silver. So in this case, when I hit a new sketch pad, let me expand it a little bit, I kind of start in the middle, and I'm going to start with the body of the butterfly. Two, three, four, five, six. So it's seven blocks in the middle, and then we start into the wings. Made a mistake there, so I'll clean those guys out. Okay, so that's the left side of the butterfly. Now I just need to do the same thing on the right-hand side. Be a little bit more careful on the... And I wasn't careful enough. So I'm working on the left-hand side of the butterfly now. So now we're symmetric. I've got a butterfly sitting here. And what I want to do is put one click out here in the corner so that when I convert it, that will give me a little bit of space around the edge of them. So that would be a lace butterfly with one square with a tabby border around it. When I ask for analysis, make drawdown. If I just ask for make new drawdown, it's now converted that two-dimensional profile into a threading and treading sequence. So from that, I now want to go into the Tools menu. So I get Treading, Block Substitution, Lace Effect, Apply It. I've got the pattern. OK, I like that. Now when I scroll back out, I've actually got the pattern ready to go weave. So that gives me Fiberworks. Thank you. This will be a demonstration of using Weave It Pro to produce a butterfly hook pattern starting from a fabric analysis tools. For Weave It, I'm going to open the tool menu, pull down fabric analysis. I've got a blank grid. Let me expand it a little bit. So I'm going to draw my butterfly starting in the body. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to add left side, I'm sorry, the right side. Give him a little bit more wing here. So I've now got the right hand side of the body done and the right hand side of the wing. drag straight it wouldn't be a problem. Okay, so I've now got my little butterfly set up. Again, I'm going to throw a, just one point in the corner so that I get a little bit of a border around them. In this case, I'm going to analyze and apply to immediately generated the profile draft on the screen over here. So now when I go into the tools, in this case, I come back in with the network in this case, I'm going to come back in with the block substitution wizard. 
and I'm just going to click through and find a huck. There's a huck lace. Next. For some reason it doesn't like that profile, but we're going to ignore that. And it's now it's now bit generated that butterfly pattern so that I can go weave that. And that is Weave It. Thank you. This will be a demonstration of using Pixel Gnome to generate a pattern from a profile draft generated by the threading analysis tools. Okay, let me start with a new pattern. I will open the drawdowns in Fabric Analysis. Okay, let me generate a new pattern. I'm going to go to the drawdown, Fabric Analysis. First thing I need to do is enter, make the center body. So that gives me the center body, and I'm going to add... A little bit of, bit, bit of wing roots for the, my butterfly here. And then I'm going to duplicate that same first line. And I'm going to work up for the wing. And I'm going to kind of do that carefully so that it's the same size. And I minimize the number of shafts that I'm playing with here. Number of treadles. Yeah, so this one should be back to the seven, seven blocks. And I'm almost done clicking. Okay, so now I've got my pattern. Again, I'm going to throw a little one guy down here so that I've got a little bit of margin on it. So I've already got the pattern sitting here with the threading tread links. I really don't have to create that. I now have the profile draft. I could say it. When I go back to tools, I can ask for block substitution. And I'm going to go down and look for a huck. So I'll do lace huck blocks. I started in the middle of the grid, so it's actually out here about in the middle. Okay, there I've got threading. I've got treadles. There's the threading. I'll zoom out. So as I come back over here and come up, I can see I've actually got the same butterfly there. That is how Pixelum can be used to generate that pattern. Okay, I'm going to walk through using the Quick Draw Weaving program to generate a pattern from a profile draft generated from a fabric analysis kind of a tool. Quick draw is a little bit different than the others. I just have a grid view here. Grid is similar to fabric analysis, only it's a little bit more optimized for the kind of things I'm doing here. For example, I have a symmetry control. And I'm also going to ask for a profile draft. So now when I enter it, I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out with the center of the body. As I add the next threads, it's automatically going to add those on the other side of the symmetry line. So I can add those. And okay, so I've now got my little butterfly. Throw in. Oh, I want to turn off the symmetry. So that gives me the same profile draft I've used for everybody else. I can do the block substitution straight from the profile draft. So if I ask it to do the threading, I want to do laces. I want to do a five thread huck. And when I zoom out, I've now actually got that pattern. Uh, Quick draw actually does also have a finished view, which will show me the deflected version, deflected view on that pattern. And that g is what Quick Draw will be able to do for me. This will be a discussion of using WeavePoint, trying to generate a profile draft from the fabric analysis. I don't know WeavePoint well enough, and looking through the functionality is there, I cannot find a fabric analysis. When I searched for help, I didn't find it in help. So I'm kind of assuming WeavePoint won't do it, and I apologize if it does, and please correct me. I'd like to update the videos. Thank you. Okay, this will be a demonstration of using the WinWeave program to generate a pattern from a profile draft using the fabric analysis screens. So let me go first go to WinWeave, and what I want to see is analysis. When I switch between the draft and analysis screens, I now get an analysis screen that I can use to enter fabric analysis. Let me enter my little butterfly here. Start with the center. Start with its center body there. Uh, 
Okay, so that's got his right wing. Center body, right wing. And here comes his long part of the wing. Okay, so now I've got my profile draft. And I'm going to throw in the one so I've got a little bit of margin around him. So when I ask to analyze, it will convert that into a profile draft. And I can't see it too well there, but I'm not familiar with the program. But now when I go to techniques, I can ask for block substitution. And it's going to give me Huck blocks as an option. And in this particular case, I'm going to actually give it the five thread floats, which, I want to turn, which I've done with the other programs. So when I click that, switch back to the profile draft view. And as I zoom out, I can actually see my profile draft. I can see my threading draft for the pattern. And it looks like that they may have done something on the, the corners here. So it's it needs to have the other threads filled in so it give me a valid tabby. So I've done something that kind of lost the edges there. But that's how WinWeef will provide the same functions. Now, I apologize to those Mac users out there. I tried to do the same thing on Mac. In order to do this, what I need is the silver version of FiberWorks. I could not get that in the free demo version on the Mac that would run on the Mac I have available. I, there's no demo available on the Mac on the Weaver Pro. Pixeloom was working the same way. On the other hand, it's the same as I'm going to see here. So there was, I kind of abandoned trying to do the Mac version.